everybody. You saw that gnarly crash towards the end of this crit that we're about to review for you. Um, this is the first race of the two or the 2020 season, just like many people have done here recently. A bunch of videos been posting up. Uh, we are in Rock Hill, North Carolina, or excuse me, Rock Hill, South Carolina, about 20 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, we're doing a little bit of course preview right now. Uh, we're going down the long downhill stretch. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Mac series for putting on this criterium for us. This is the first round of, I believe, six races. Um, we've got a team of three in this, myself, Spencer, and Henry. You can see Henry on our left right here wearing this cool blue. Fresh looking. So we've got Spencer with me. My name's Jared. Yeah, this is Spencer. First time racing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, Henry's first time as well. Um, I've done a, three crits before. All Cat 5 novice. There it is. Yeah, catch our favors. LOL. <laughs> All right, we are off. This is the first lap right here. Uh, we're going to cut straight into the action here in a second you guys going but it's a 1.1 mile closed crit course it is extremely wide in a lot of elevation change so it's pretty tough it's not your traditional flat tight technical course um, there's a lot of room to move around in and uh, it can be uh, kind of makes you kind of relax a little too much in my opinion um, as you'll see here in a little bit I feel relaxed sometimes all right, ready laps to go. Spencer, what's going camera. on here? Yeah, so I'm following uh, this guy. He's a junior racer. I think he raced after us. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. Uh, pretty excited. Heart rate, that's pretty high for me already. <laughs> so I'm probably feeling it a little bit. And uh, every time I climb this hill, I just start like, whoa. Yeah, that's right. So he like just went out right there and, and the whole field kind of got on him a little bit. Um, and that was the first time I heard some, some chirping going on. Yeah, and uh, to kind of give everybody a kind of a breakdown, we wanted to be like with three to go, kind of on the front, maybe a couple wheels back, the three of us in our, in our team kind of controlling the pace or letting people kind of do what they wanted to. This course, has, again, it's so much more elevation change where the speed was like really predictable. Um, it was fast in the downhills and then it would just slow way up in the uphills so it was almost every single lap it did the same tempo uh, and it, you really got in a groove and so when people started to attack towards the very end of the race uh, it caught some people off guard <laughs> and so right here we're going through this um, this is a pretty normal speed throughout the whole race nothing crazy um, again we'll give you some more preview here's the start finish line this is a wow this is probably like a hundred yard sprint right here. I don't know what it is in meters for all you people who love meters. Uh, this is me. Um, people were doing this all day long where they were just kind of swerving and again it's the first race of the season in this area so everyone's kind of just getting their bike handling skills back underneath them. Check out this sweet point. Oh, I'm going to take that spot. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why he wanted to do that and you see he was super uncontrolled. Um, I don't know why. Because uh, it's a downhill right here. You're kind of just cruising really low cadence Nice and easy and you're just in a draft like it's there's no point to kind of take a spot right there And it was completely pointless So we're four to go. We're back on Spencer's camera Four to go. I remember what was happening just Probably hurting at this point. Huh? I don't know actually it was a lot of recovering and um, getting back in it we're going pretty like not even pedaling that hard so I'm getting excited, thinking I have endurance. Oh, and yeah, so this guy, he would keep doing this every every lap towards the end. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's his strategy, what he was planning there, maybe just to speed everything up. Yeah, so he would, that's what we call the salmon guy. He's got a cool pink salmon colored kit on. He, yeah, the downhill starts right there. He would literally pedal hard, 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 all the way through the downhill where everyone else is coasting and kind of do a mini attack up this slight transition where it goes from like 0% to 3 to 4% grade increase. And then it was like a 50 yard little attack and then he would stop. And so everyone would kind of just slow back down, get to sit back in their saddle. And it, it was all for nothing. It's definitely, you know. Yeah, I thought um, he was doing the strategy. Yeah, uh, it wasn't super 
fun to, to sit there and like be on that. But yeah, if he wants to do that and burn himself up, I was completely fine with it. Um, there wasn't anything. It, the field gets kind of stretched out right here. We're all in single file. Um, Spencer, you're probably 10th wheel, maybe 11th wheel right now. Yeah, here. I was just about to say, every time I look in this back cam, I'm like in the back. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm pretty far back. We talked about before the race, like trying to stay in the middle of the pack and not being in that back half. So I think at one point we kind of, we swapped, uh, y'all slowed it down and then I, I took up front. It was kind of, that kind of felt like we were doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, and I definitely think it would help if, if we can stay together more consistently where we've got Henry up here in our uh, one wheel up to the left and I am in front of him. If we can kind of stay more consistent, I think we'll, we'll be able to control the race a little bit more. Um, and we're intimidating with our kids. With our kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just got brand new kids and everyone was like, who are these guys? Um, and it was, I didn't realize until we talked to some guys after the race that they were, they were all chatting about us and watching us and waiting for us to make moves, which they had no idea that we were all completely novice at, at crits. Yeah, definitely. So right here, we're coming to three to go. It, there's a little bit of an attack right here. Um, and it was, again, it's, it's, it's like the same yep, here repeat. Comes, he, he just Bond coming back to the end, ready for his turn of the hill next time. Yeah, he literally goes from the front all the way to the back and just kind of hangs out, which I don't see the benefit in that strategy, um, but maybe that's what he wants to do, you know, and there's enough room on this track where he can kind of do that, and the pace is predictable enough to where he can do that. Yeah, and here, so I just, like, stopped pedaling, thinking, okay, what, what's going on here? I'm just, do I stay in the draft or, and break or just keep rolling like that? So that's kind of was, I ended up doing that several times, not sure what to do. Yeah, Henry's up here on the right. You can see me way up there. I'm, like, second wheel on the inside. And this is kind of where it starts to go through and people are like getting ready to do their attacks, pump in their strategies. I break to the left right here because- uh, I see uh, on the back, you've got that salmon coming through again. Oh yeah, so that's where you come out. And uh, the junior follows me over and we kind of stop salmon in his tracks. That wasn't really intended, but it worked out. Um, we are taking up the entire track. So we're, I mean, there's this track's wide enough to go about four to six riders wide pretty comfortably and if you look right here henry's up to the front and then these guys two guys in front of henry do an attack and henry drops the wheel just got cough guard yeah, got and he's looking back how do i get back <laughs> yeah he's looking back and he's just causing people to slow up i don't go after these guys you'll see them around the corner right here how far ahead they are probably three to four seconds and oh, yeah. this is where it kind of goes. And I'm not really pushing too hard to kind of cover this because I know how many people are behind me and I'm just looking to catch a free ride. If you look uh, in the rear cam right now, Spencer, you see John. Uh, John actually ends up winning the race. So he's following us thinking that we're gonna do something. Uh, and- There goes Henry. I, there goes Henry. Yeah, Henry, dro Henry just drops. I don't know, he was tired, he was done. Again, it's his first crit. Did a great job during the whole race and just uh, lost a little bit of juice there towards the end. He gets another good effort. Yeah, so John's still riding Spencer's wheel and I, I still think he's waiting for us to do something and I think he realizes you're, we're not going to do anything and he ends up moving on this. I'm up the road uh, about, I think I'm in fourth right now. He's coming, there goes John and- And Henry. And there goes Henry. And so if you look behind Henry, these two guys are here get second and third and then look at Henry comes over to the left and just blocks Spencer in I was falling off anyways oh so my god was, was and then that's their race and then they fall that's off our race. yeah uh -huh. and here I am I let this gap probably get way too big but I was thinking if this is anything like the rest of the race we've seen so far I was like I can reel this in on the this massive downhill we get uh, John's teammate comes up beside me in this purple Venge and I hitch a ride for the per first part of this downhill and just kind of chill, nothing crazy. My tempo's a little high. Uh, you know, we're getting to like 30 miles an hour. Uh, my heart rate's pretty up there, but I have a pretty high max heart rate. It's like 198, maybe 200 right in there. Um, and it's in the race, like I should be kind of feeling a little, little rough. And so to my left, I'm gonna have two riders attacking really hard. I get probably get a little too close to Salmon right there. Um, a little too close to call, but this is such a 
big downhill, like a you know three percent grade negative downhill, and you just get tucked in, and just like I predicted, they all hit this little flat transition and fan out, and so I can just cruise right back up to them and get back up, and so I want to be on John's wheel. Um, the rest of this time and kind of let these guys in front who have been doing various pulls throughout the day, little micro pulls, just kind of work it out. Like I said, there's not many teams in this. It's, I mean, we had the biggest team and it was three riders. And then John right here, him and his other teammate, it was, there was two of them. So everyone else is kind of solo privateering it out there for fun. And no one's really on the same page and talking it out or doing anything like that. Um, it it was really easy just to kind of like if a guy was gonna go hard you could just follow him but yeah look everyone just slows up right here people are relaxing getting up in their hoods if i could have just held on yeah I, I, yeah you were huh? within sight on that hill yeah. i tried yeah and that's kind of just how it goes if you just relax for a second you know and you could you could miss that break or miss that surge um and then again this course is so deceiving because how long it is and how much elevation gain there is in it you can really kind of psych yourself out but we're rolling through here we're coming to one to go um, we've got a little bit of a gap on the front right here it's kind of two by two and it the speed starts to ramp up just a little bit and it's and it's not a lot um, I was feeling pretty good this guy right here in the all black um, We've been riding around him all day. He seemed like he kind of knew what he was doing. He was a little sketch in some parts, uh, but I felt comfortable with him since I couldn't get to John's wheel. So here's the last lap corner. Um, some good gimbal footage that we got. And yeah, it's about 15 of us. And so I think the field was like a field of 22 or 24. So we didn't lose that many, that many riders. To note, uh, a lot of these riders were like cat three guys or cat four guys that were like trying to get extra points or something for uh, for some reason to like level up um randomly or like be more consistent or, or get some get a easy race under their belt uh, a lot of these guys like john right here he could have just been in um cat three four or one two three and have been fine uh and and we would have been fine with them. So right here, I'm talking to him. I'm letting him know I'm on his left. I did that a couple times through the race, like letting people know like I'm on their left or where I'm at by them, uh, just to make things a little less sketch because you could definitely tell people were still working on their technical abilities and the like first race jitters, getting that out of the way. So I'm actually fighting for John's wheel with um, the guy that was in the all black with the red LA, and John gets a little squirrely right there. And I'm where I'm actually bumping elbows and shoulders with the guy that I'm fighting with John to get his wheel. Um, as you see, we got one rider out about two seconds ahead, but this is a really steep hill. And I cannot, this guy will not let me have John's wheel. So I'm like, forget it, it's the inside corner. This is kind of where I want to be anyways. I'm about fourth wheel, fifth wheel right here. So look, so you got, okay. Okay, this guy in the black right here loses his wheel. He's coming back, he's falling back really far and then they're breaking. And then I take a tumble. Uh, yeah, we're about to take a quick rerun to look at that and give you a little breakdown. Uh, this took out four riders. Here comes Spencer rolling up on me in the fetal position because uh, I had a yard sale. Okay, cool. Coming back up this hill. All right, if you notice, the rider to my right, all black, he's in the drops. That's where you want to be, last lap to go. He's in the drops. Uh, we're going, this rider in the black right here loses a wheel, and this is who he wrecks. So I'm going to freeze frame. They're both back in the hoods. For some reason, the guy to my right went to the hoods in like 10 yards, he switched up. And so we think they got locked up with arms or elbows or bars. Here's the sprint finish where John comes through. Mm. Boom, good lead. And then look, all black right there, guy who caused the wreck is in fourth. Uh, yes. Kind of ridiculous, so. Yeah guys, that's it, short and sweet. Uh, hope you liked it. We'll be trying to do a couple more of these. We'll try and dial in the audio and the uh, feedback for you. Thanks.